What is up my friends, so let's talk about the ending of Barry, which was insane, the series finale and everything that happened. But before we get into that, I want to let you know that we have just dropped our first piece of merch and it is this shirt, vote for Pearl, you know, Pearl. So if you're a fan of Pearl and everything, we also have this design on a hat and you can go check that out as well on the merch site. It really goes a long way, but let's get right into this uh, finale of Barry and my thoughts and opinions on it. So Barry Berkman has come to an end after five years and four seasons and it is definitely one of those finales that I think was just amazing so we really got into a whole thing with this last episode before the last one where we were going to have this big standoff Noho Hank Fuchs Barry all going at it and we saw the beginning of it we saw that Sally comes clean to John about Barry and herself and everything they've done Noho gets Fuchs to come over when he realizes that hey Fuchs, we have Barry's son. And the Fuchs kind of at first didn't believe him, but after a bit, he's just like, that Barry's son. So we see that they go over here and they're waiting for Barry. And then out of nowhere, shootout ensues. Noho dies. John is injured, it seemed, but no, he was actually protected by Fuchs. Sally is there as well, uninjured as well. And we see that Fuchs protects John. While all of that was happening, Barry was getting strapped up and everything, getting these guns and all of that, and he was about to go clean house, it seemed, and he was saying he knew he was going to be um, dead after all of this, but he was going to sacrifice himself so his son can live a long life, and we see that Barry eventually makes it to the area where Noho and Fuchs were, but it's all too late. Everybody's already dead, including Noho, and Fuchs is there standing with his son as he releases his son to Barry, and Barry and Fuchs just have this one-to-one -one, um, stare, and that's pretty much how that relationship ends right there. We then see that Barry, Sally, and John make it to a hotel room, and Sally's feeling some type of way because Kusuno is going to take the fall for everything, it seems now, because now the narrative has changed that, hey, Barry was not the real villain here. He was just framed by Kusuno. Kusuno has been using him and he was involved in drug traffic and everything with Noho Hank and Cristobal and all of that. And Barry was just a pawn of Kusuno, so he should be free. So we see that Kusuno is going to be arrested. Kusuno is kind of contemplating with a gun as well. And then the next morning we see that Barry finds that Sally and John had now left. And in his mind, they went to Kusuno's house because Sally had mentioned Kusuno before and had mentioned how Kusuno shouldn't take the blame and we should see Barry sort of give everything to the um, police that Kusuno is actually innocent which Barry doesn't want to do. So when we see Barry arrive to the house of Kusuno's we see that uh, Kusuno is in the room with the gun and then Barry's trying to find John and Sally. Eventually Kusuno comes out and shoots Barry right here and then Barry's just like what? Or he says oh wow and then he gets shot in the head lights out black screen and I thought that that was it I thought all right that's how we're ending it soprano style I was good I was good with that ending but we get a little bit more of this ending as we see Kusuno just sitting there with Barry Berkman and we eventually see that there's a time jump and seem of maybe five or six years where we see Sally is now this drama teacher and John's older as well Eventually, John tells Sally after her uh, play that he wants to go to a friend's house, which she lets him do. And we see that Sally's sort of at ease with everything now. Um, not entirely sure where her headspace is, but we see that she's kind of sort of like, okay, it seems. John, on the other hand, goes to see a movie that eventually we find out is a movie about Barry Berkman and Jean Cousineau. And this is a dramatization of everything that happened. But it twists everything where Kusuno was the bad guy this whole time and Barry was just being used by Kusuno. So we see this whole thing unfold that we just saw in the past four seasons. But it is in the um, way where Gene Kusuno was behind everything as this sort of drug person and just using Barry Berkman to do his bidding and eventually take his fall. This ends with the whole thing about Barry Berkman's um, true life and Gene Cousineau saying Gene Cousineau is now currently serving life in prison for the murders of Barry Berkman and Janice. And we see that Barry Berkman was actually buried in Arlington and with honors and all of that. And we see John just smiling. Now, one thing we have to remember is that John knew exactly what happened, it seems, after Sally told him everything. And I think he was at the age where he can understand that as well. 
But we know now that John has seen this movie, he may have wanted to see how his father is being sort of interpreted by the media and everything. And it seems that it was in a positive light, which kind of um, negates everything that Sally may have told him. And I think this might make either John resent his mother more or by the end of it for sure, see his father in a different light and maybe question what exactly it is. So I thought that that was just a great ending to end it like that because it really is how the media portrays things or anything in history. Um, how it's sort of um, glorified depending on the person that may have not been such a good person but their um, actions and everything are sort of cherry picked and twisted and turned into something completely different so by the time we actually see this we are perceiving them in this way when in fact they were actually maybe this way and I think that that was such a great great analysis to do in Barry as well besides all of the themes that were explored from gun violence as well as um, also mental health and all of that I think that this final like um thing that barry did with that um fake movie was definitely something that makes it even harder in such a very very concrete ending for sure for barry because at the end john knows the truth he knows the truth about his father but the way he is being shown in light of everything that has happened in this movie kind of makes it more conflicting so barry kind of won but he didn't and it's kind of a very very interesting ending for sure uh where we see that john is maybe gonna look at this version of his father and say that was my father that's the one i know and that's him so i really did enjoy the ending doing that for sure and it was just an insane ending for sure um i know a lot of people were sort of underwhelmed they say but i don't think the show ever promised you a guns of blazing um finale it was just going to give you what the show is going to give you and that's one thing that i do want to make a video about is expectations always ruin things for everybody because you cannot go expecting anything i always just go in saying let's see what the show is going to give us and i was pleased and i was happy let me know your thoughts and opinions on down below and we can talk more about the finale if y'all want we can do a whole discussion about it it's themes and all of that so let me know if that's something that y'all want but anyways that's gonna do it for me if you haven't already subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that like hit that notification bell to know when more videos drop and we are currently running a giveaway if you want to enter the giveaway all you have to do is be subscribed and comment below i want to enter the giveaway and that gets you an entry we also are selling our bolt for pearl shirts so if you want to go check those out it is in this url here or in the description down below really appreciate anybody who goes over there really keeps the lights on on the channel and helps us move forward we also have hats for both for pearl and we have some more merch dropping but as always that's going to do it for us we'll see all of you next time let us know your thoughts and opinions and make sure you enter our giveaway and check out our merch as well we'll see all of you next time stay safe stay positive